Welcome to Lightroom 101. I'm Keith Mason and I'm hoping to introduce you to all of the functions that you need to be able to get the most out of the pictures that you've taken um, in Lightroom, which is the editing suite that I'm going to be using. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is the structure of the Lightroom um, format in the screen. Uh, there are basically three or four areas. Left hand side, right hand side, thumbnail down from the bottom, um, obviously the picture area uh, and the various features that and functions that you're going to use uh, along the top. So. We're going to start in library, and in the library side, you'll see all of the pictures that you've uh, imported, unless you've deleted them, uh, and I edit them, uh, and I organise those by uh, date because it helps me. Um, you may have a different way of categorising your uh, pictures, but for me, that's what works. Uh, and here I've selected a few of the pictures that I took on this particular day when I went for a short walk in the woods. Uh, and I'm going to hopefully uh, show you how I've, I can edit this picture, which is uh, a rather dark picture of a tree, um, to bring out as much as I can out of the image. And we're going to do that in the develop mode for Lightroom. Okay, so we've moved over to the uh, develop uh, mode in Lightroom. You can see on the left hand side you've got a navigator, you've got presets which we're going to talk about later, uh, and history. History is great because in Lightroom you never lose any work that you have done. Um, it's a non-destructive editing um, suite so that if you do something with a picture and you don't like it, you can just back up to the point where you were happy with the picture. Over on the right hand side of um, Lightroom, you see a whole bunch of different editing uh, items. We're going to work through a number of those in the following few films. The first of those is the histogram. I'm going to click that to bring up the histogram. And the histogram is an important thing uh, that you need to get to grips with in your photography. The histogram is basically a frequency check of how many. Um, light and dark elements of, that are in your picture and you can see here that there is a large spike on the left hand side of the picture and what that's telling us is that there is lots of dark parts of your picture my picture and on the right hand side you've got a little spike here right on the right hand side which says you've got a, a small number of quite bright parts of your uh, film and you can see that the rest of it is really focused down in the um, the shadow areas so one of the things that we're going to do in this um, edit is to try and bring up those shadows to give more detail into the uh, image and um, I'm just going to show you one other picture which I took on the, the walk at the same time um, and show you a different histogram. You can see that every histogram is different. There is no right or wrong histogram. Um, this one, you can see, also has quite a lot of darks, particularly in the trees here uh, and in the shadows um, on the edge of the lake. You have quite a lot of brights which are uh, over in the, um, the clouds. Uh, and uh, in the sky and then much more mid-range which is uh, a lot of these trees and the reflections of the trees here and the grasses down the front. So every picture has a different histogram and you can use it as an um, indicator as to what you might do when you begin to edit. Thanks for looking in. Um, in the next film we're going to look at the uh, the standard editing tools to try and bring more out of this picture. Thanks very much for looking in.